identified the fact that it's a thesis. It came with socialism as an antithesis. After that, we will start the search of someone by this is imperialism. And this is imperialism, maybe I will use this point. Because we are from Mona, I'm going to call Marx. Of Karl Marx, it is not our social consciousness that determines our social I mean our social material conditions. Our social material conditions determine our consciousness. Social consciousness again which determines our demand consciousness. It's socialism. Determined by your material conditions as you always do is capitalism. Capitalism determined by capitalism by you see. So, can I say to Marx, the city? This is not the social culture that the mind of the conditions are not great conditions. The mind is a social culture. That means, you know, the ideology must be the product of the material conditions. The two material conditions are the imperialism. So, between the two ideologies, as in Sanagas and the Obama lady, are the conscious menu between capitalism and communism. Which one? Is an antithesis of imperialism. Which ideology is a product of imperialism and colonialism between communism and Africanism? Between communism and Africanism, which one is the product of colonialism and imperialism? Who can tell me? Name of Africanism. Africanism. Therefore, it is a if it is a certain African interest, it is a certain African So we must be the one who means 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 the and it is a capitalism. Africa is imperialism. And the government alone, 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 if we moved the Arabs, that means the Britain has moved out. We are no longer a colony of Britain, but Bashians, they have a presidency. But she am a fool, the city is not a woman. So, is then Pan Africanism still the antithesis? Are we still under the process of imperialism? Then, I was a fool of my face. It is a no According to my understanding, Africa is not yet decolonized. We are still colonized. You see? But it's a new form of colonialism. This is the reason why it's a rationalized form of imperialism. It's no longer that true imperialism. I'm going to have a new problem. I'm going to have a new neocolonialism. So, neocolonialism is the continuation of colonialism. You see? It's no longer like true imperialism. It's a rationalized imperialism. It's an imperialism. You are still a British colony. You are not 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 a British colony. So, each and every one of When I'm in Africa, I'm in Africa. 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 I'm in Africa
But anyway, we somehow I have noticed a, 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 a prefix that you use, and I, I believe that the prefix that you use is the generation of Africa. In a sense that uh, I create an argument that would say, yes, Africa is narrated, but not true. When you are saying Africa is not truly narrated, the prefix that says truly liberated, truly, the word truly in liberation. That prefix is saying Africa is liberated, but not true. Uh, Africa has never been liberated, not at all. It has never been liberated. This sense of saying that Africa has been liberated, but not 100%. It comes from our understanding and mystery of history. Okay. 
that says the things that we're experiencing right now were never there before. I'm saying when about, for example, checking uh, 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 or speaking about the issue, having uh, uh, black people running a, 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 a or being uh, run as puppet master, run by, 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 by run as, as puppet masters, to say. We have heard that thing before. In a sense that people who say Obama is the first uh, uh, black president, of America. We have had a president in America who was black before. Because America is constituted of states. There has been a president that has been given a state before, before Obama in America. He was black. Hansen, John Hansen, mm -hmm. he was black. So, and I also believe that to be almost all seen, we have seen Zomakaku to say that in Africa, and Zonga Zindo is experiencing as black people currently in this world, as Kalu Gwanzek. Zazin Jalo before, white supremacy is good in trying to recreate itself, to make sure that the struggle that we face as black people is a new struggle. But it's, it is the same old struggle that we were facing before 1912. Or before 19, or 1910. Now the question that will come to see what were the people, black people, before 1910 fighting for? Before the formation of these political organizations, because mm -hmm. they believe that in 1910 there were no, before 1910 there were no political organizations, mm -hmm. but we had kings and we had uh, 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 people who were fighting. Now the question would say, what were they fighting for? And I believe that the floor can, can, can conclude on that. And if, once we can be able to define what exactly were they fighting for a time, when we are still fighting for that thing that we were fighting for, before <laughs> 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 uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank Across the continent was about the return of the land of its rightful owners. And though they are changing the world, we are still the return of the land and wealth to its rightful owners, the indigenous African people. I got it wrong. So, I'm sure. <coughs> Maybe it's a confusion, a political confusion, a boy, you see, it's a foreign concept, a foreign technology, a philosophy, you see, it's a loose but it is not only an argument. That is why you have a theater, you can have one, 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 you can Including the wars of the states of the Kaya Africa. You see, against the colonial families. People like that are not in the sun. Almost one hour of one. Or of the man, you see, one of the man, one of the emotion. You see, in the liberation movement, which was the continuation of that struggle. So, once I confuse a little, see, first I was going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Mm. 
Nu te-am zis să nu ne să scaia, ne să plăcă scaia, ne să It want to establish an Africanistic uh, and socialistic democracy. So our city can go. I sit in PC if socialistic democracy. Sim Cooper Ganja and Marx was the socialism, Lega Marx. You tunzuleluan, after see Fumele Democrats. And about Philip and Bush on Bound. I can tell you that I can tell you that I can tell Form of labor in which we are living in Kosovo. 
Why is this now more? We are forced to work without you. That's one of the things that we are. We are in power. 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 We So that is a stages of social development. That is communalism, slavery, and capitalism. Both Europe and Africa went through the same stages until the third stage, capitalism. In Europe, in capitalism, we are getting so far. Kabat Mandela was the one who gave the name. They overthrew their kings and established a new. Democratic system. You see, the government of the people by the people for the people. You see, we get our own democratic dispensation. By Chica, we are a society. Yes, we are one. You see, we are going to put it up in Africa. Chica, from the stage of feudalism, we are going to have a family. Chica, we are going to have a family. We are going to have a family. We are going to have a family. Which is a different story. So, so that in capitalism, in capitalism, in a certain aspect, crashes the colonial wars. You see, of occupation, our forefathers were men, our leaders, our kings were killed, were raped. That's why it's not a new thing from our past. Through that they raped. That was a large act of right to necessarily kiss. No more bad people come back. I mean, who? You see? So, A, I think it has H. It passed in this way. It was in crash way. By foreign invaders. And established. You see? The colonial system. So, in a form, feudalism to colonialism, it's a separate and a branch of colonialism. But which came up in.
Africa, isolate. Go. Amato in the Africa. <coughs> but the colonialism was a holistic system. Abandabam Shobe, above the Lama Bafina directly, at first Bafina Bazo Shakam Shah. One of the things that the colonialism sought to do was to completely dehumanize Ama Africa. And part of that program was stripping us off the culture in. So, you know, before the soldiers came with their armies, an army of missionaries descended into Africa, demonized African culture, mm. you see, basically cultivating Islam, preparing the ground for the, you know, the, the, these other white boys who were going to come with the farm and all of that. So we were stripped of our culture, you know, demonized everything African, knowledge of our God, our own ways of Ubuntu Zindo. You see, they established their missionary centers. You see, I'm sure long in your years, no, but we learn in the land, we call it indirect of the mission. You see, that is where the white missionary used to stay. And a mission within the yard, a mission, 
we learn as men to call this call because in mission I am with the school you see and uh, in missionary schools you see and what happened in the process is that I'm Africa why work on I'm Africa who were with the kings fighting the struggle fighting battles you know but at the same time we call in missionaries Ezenza, Amakotoka, the convicts. Because there were black people amongst us who became the convicts. You see, I think here I explain a little bit, land over there, and this is a high city. The political parties created confusion. I'm trying to bring it over how these political parties created the confusion. The political parties were created. Amakotoka. 1909, King Bambata fought the last war of resistance. 1909. 1910, the Dutch and uh, together with the, the British, you see, they had separated the, the whole country into Orange Free State, Cape Colony, this and this and that, amongst themselves. And they were fighting amongst themselves now. The Anglo Bure War, you see the English fighting with the Dutch, you see, over you see. And then in 1910, they decided, no, let us come together. We are all white people after all. We are all black brothers. We have the same interests against these governments. And they formed what the, the Union of South Africa in 1910, 31st of March, you see, and they said. The seat of government, the union, the, I mean of this union government, a, a union buildings, you see, which is still today the seat of the government of Africa. Mm -hmm. So, 1912, the convents, mm. all those people who, who were you know, Christian missionaries, maybe suit and tie, maybe party, those are the people who formed the South African National Meeting. A Congress.